Hey guys, I'm Jesse Chidwick. And I'm Michelle, and we're with Team Apex Real Estate. Today we're gonna to be giving you guys a market update. Talking about multiple offers. And why you should consider making the move to Dufferin County. But let's dive into what pockets or what products are seeing the most activity? What I'm seeing is a lot of the entry level product is getting still the multiple offers. We're seeing a lot, they are being listed under market value and they are receiving 10, 15, sometimes 20 offers. But I think it's important for buyers to know that in this market, even though they might be paying over asking, they're not paying over market value. Okay, so when we break down, let's say specifically where things sold in the peak, is there still a drastic drop in terms of what they're posting their prices for now? 100%. So there's a value buy there. For sure. Okay, so in that instance, like what areas are you seeing that people are just hoping for an offer? Well, I think when we're looking at what areas are, are hurting right now for offers and activities not there, it's gonna be the higher price points, okay? So areas like King, Caledon, there's quite a few pockets in Simcoe that they're just not seeing the activity. The sold to new listing ratios are not fantastic. It's typically about one out of three properties that are actually moving. So if you're gonna dive into an area where, hey, there's quite a bit of value or some motivated sellers, it's going to be some of those areas. This is the first time that we've seen in any particular market where the market has actually pulled back, but the inventory levels have not spiked. So January as a recap, what would we you know, summarize it as? Yeah, so we saw a lot less properties hit the market this year in comparison to last year. Inventory levels are still down. So just off the top of my head, I know specifically the Shelburne community, they only had five properties sell in January, mm -hmm. okay? Grand Valley actually had zero of the inventory move. And again, don't quote me on this one, but Orangeville, I believe it was 18 to 20 properties sell, which is historically relatively low for our area. What do you think you're gonna expect in this mark in 2023? Okay. In general. Well, okay, so, so, so we're moving into spring market right now. What would you foresee happening? I know you don't have a crystal ball, but just give us your hot take. No one has a crystal ball on how they think the market's gonna go, but my predictions or my perspective for this year is that we are gonna see a little bit more of a pullback in prices. But I think this spring is still going to be really strong with more properties hitting the market. I think buyer confidence is starting to come back. Now the shock of the interest rates is kind of faded. So people feel more comfortable getting back out there. So I think we're still going to see a strong market. And then leading into next year, hopefully interest rates will subside or come down and then... Okay, so people are starting to get a little bit more accustomed to the five, six percent mortgage rates. Yeah, this is now the new normal market. We're not seeing what we saw last year. People are realizing that that's not coming back. So they're now used to this. Are multiple offers still a thing? And if they are, where is it happening? Great question, Michelle. Thanks for asking. I think we should actually define multiple offers, okay? Because in theory, two offers is multiple offers. Bidding war is where a strategic market price is actually generating multiple offers, more than two, so upwards of 10, 15, 20, pick your number, and it's drastically selling over its list price. Now, those are happening, again, only at the entry level product. So let's take, for example, Kitchener Waterloo. We're seeing things 499, and they're selling over asking, let's say 550, 575. But diving into the actual value of the property, those houses were selling at the peak for 750, 800. So this is, in our opinion, a value buy, and buyers need to differentiate whether they're overpaying because of multiple offers or if it's actually a good real estate investment. So outside of the multiple offer situations, what other houses are actually selling? Yeah, if you're listening to media headlines, it's all doom and gloom, but properties are still selling. Entry level products are still selling really quickly and a lot of times with multiple offers and properties that show well and are priced properly are moving. Okay, so it would be fair to say that outside of the economics of what's happening in the world right now, people still need to transact and move into property. 100%. So I know we love Dufferin County, but why should people move here? This is going to be a long-winded answer, but I think number one, the thing to really focus on when it comes to Dufferin County, it's going to be a... <laughs> I tried so hard to hold it. I tried. Bless you. I tried. I tried. If, I tried. I was even trying to stare at the light. What the hell is that going to do? 
It makes you not sneeze. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. So with respect to Dufferin, I think Dufferin, the first and foremost why people are coming here, and it's primarily gonna be a lot of young families, it comes down to affordability. When we're comparing you know, Orangeville, Shelburne, Grand Valley to let's say Brampton, Mississauga, Streetsville, it's significantly different. The phrase that I like to use is drive 30 minutes, save 300,000, because typically that's in and around where that benchmark pricing is. Young families are gonna come to Dufferin, typically they're gonna have young kids, they're gonna get a dog, they're gonna get a backyard, it's gonna be fenced in, all those great things in comparison to where, let's say further down south, you're looking at condos, stacked towns, things with not a whole lot of green space, if you will. For sure, and I would say a lot of people have the notion that Dufferin County is so far, but that's really not the case. You're super accessible to highways if you are commuting down to the city. And from an amenity standpoint, Dufferin County has everything that you possibly need. Yeah, you've got sports, recreation, there's, you know, Sobeys, there's every restaurant that you could, you know, obviously think of from that particular standpoint, mm -hmm. you know, but again, I, I, I do think accessibility is uh, like just even Highway 10 in terms of taking Highway 10, Highway 10 turns into 410, which is one of the main veins right into whether you're working downtown Mississauga, it's all right there. Let's talk a little bit about rural property as well, because we do have a fair amount of rural property here in Dufferin County. What are some people getting in terms of value there? Yeah, it's huge. Like you mentioned before, your money goes a lot further if you are buying in Dufferin County. From a property standpoint, it is a lot of rural properties. You can get a house, a bungalow that's on 10 acres, so you can... Okay, so you got 10 acre property, but it is worth mentioning, okay, you're most likely not gonna be on city water, yeah. okay, or sewer. Okay, so you are gonna be on well, you are gonna have septic. So these are some things to factor in when it comes to transacting rural properties. So what would you tell your clients about Dufferin County? Yeah, I definitely tell a lot of people who I'm showing in the area, if you're over the hustle and bustle of the city, come up to Dufferin County. It's a lot quieter. You still have that small town feel. It is expanding a lot, but I think Dufferin County will always have that small town local feel. Definitely gets you away from the noise of the city, but you've got everything here. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Yeah, so with Team Apex Real Estate, we are committed to a five-star experience. We service Dufferin, we service Peel, we'll go up to Gray, Collingwood, all of these fantastic areas that are outside of that GTA bubble. We're happy to take you through. Reach out to myself or Michelle with any questions. Any of our team members are more than happy to help. So you guys can find us on Instagram where we shoot a ton of short form educational content. You can find us at, at Team Apex. I'm at Michelle Chidwick. I'm at Jesse Chidwick, and for YouTube, long formatted version, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and pay attention to whenever we're f***ing posting. <laughs> I'm at Jesse Chidwick, and again, subscribe, <laughs> hit that like button. <laughs> so what do I gotta smash say? That smash that like. That smash that subscribe. Smash that subscribe button, hit the like, so you don't miss a video here on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I love it.